How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffled Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, ladies and gents, we've got massive Pokemon information to talk about, as Riddler Koo, a legitimate Pokemon leaker, has come out with new details and new little ways to mess with us to give us information. So, we've got massive Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks to talk about. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get started. First things first is this right here. It's a post from Soul Silver Art. If you guys didn't, do not know who this is, he is a leak analyst. He takes leaks from, you know, people, and then analyzes them to get as much detail out as possible and he's been analyzing the posts from Riddler Koo the big leaker guy who's given information in the past and here's what he says it's officially Koo weekend got to cover two more of these riddles but before that here's a, a mini uh, like a, a minuscule of like leaks a bunch of them starting with the biggest news Dunsparce gets a cross-gen evolution 99% confirmed unless there's a uh, miscommunication or I've got the wrong Pokemon but Dunsparce won't be getting a regional form slash Evo but an actual cross-generation permanent evolution the only other variable is if he might have uh, thought that the uh, you know, original question was asking about any kind of evolution and is still getting evolution but a regional one. I doubt this. If that's somehow the case, the only other one would be Wooper, but I like, like I said, cl it clearly hinted at Dunsparce Evos. So what it is, but basically this person said, Koo, please tell us about cross-gen Evos, anything please. And he says, you already knew one. What is he saying here? He's referring to, specifically, <laughs> Dunsparce. One Pokemon that he's told us is going to get a brand new evolution. So, ladies and gentlemen, Dunsparce is getting a brand new Evo. And it's not going to be a regional Evo or anything. It's a legitimate brand new evolution for Dunsparce. Which is great. He says... Easier ones are Go-Go returns, but we still don't know if it gets a new form or regional form. It's just a normal, probably the latter. There will be more than one object Pokemon line. So he's specifically talking about here that Go-Go is going to be returning because somebody did ask, Mr. Koo, is there any way you can tell us if Go-Go is, is in this game, right? And Scarlet and Violet said it came back. So yes, Go-Go has returned. It's in this game. Somebody also asked how many object Pokemon. So Pokemon based on object, you know, like a lamp, vanillish, vanillux, etc. They're based on ice creams. So Pokemon are based on objects. He says more than one fact family of Pokemon, but I just decided to tease one line. So, apparently there's more than one family of Pokemon, but doesn't give us to totally details here exactly what's going on. It says there'll be probably be more than one object line. Uh, Sprig line is probably the best competitive starter due to its hidden ability, whatever it gets it. Cool new Fishmon. So what he says here is, by the way, battle-wise, the grass starter, so Sprigatito is apparently going to be the strongest start a Pokemon we might have ever had because of its god-hidden ability. But I haven't seen the move pool, so you know uh, it could go bad, right? And somebody asked, hey, Koo, is there a new cool fish Pokemon? A Pokemon based on a fish. He said, yep, so we are going to be getting a cool new fish Pokemon, which also is a mwah, per like perfect detail. I love that. I love my fish Pokemon. Then we have a breakdown here, a big like post by Centro. Centro is an account that uh, accumulates leaks and he kind of took everything that's been posted by uh, our boy Riddler Koo and kind of tried to break it down. But Soul Silver had a few changes that needed to be made in these posts that aren't 100% correct. So he says here, Centro made a proper list of some of Koo's riddle answers uh, uh, answers we somewhat know. However, there are a few details and fixes, not out of malice, but accuracy. Check the thread if you'd like. Mega rework reference might be a totally different gimmick from the main one. So what is he referring to here? Well, basically, uh, Centro put together a summary here. and We're going to break down all what he said here, and we're also going to fix the issues of what's not correct there. She so says, summary of Scarlet and Violet leak so far. Uh, so starter final evolution are Grass Dark, Water Fighting, and Fire Ghost. Yes, we pretty much are sure that those are going to be the starter, like, uh, you know, typings, but that's not guaranteed 100%, but it's like a 99% chance that that's the case. Spiritito's final evolution has has a god-tier hidden ability with a uh, with a bipedal and it seems like a humanoid waifu-looking design. Now, there is no confirmation that it's going to be, uh, you know, 100% humanoid. That's not the case. He just said it's going to be standing up, so we don't know if... Sprigatito's evolution is going to be standing on two legs, or like on, you know, on just two legs, or if it's going to be on all four. We don't have 100% confirmation on that. Then he says, Quoxley's final evolution is the leaker's favorite design of the three. Legendaries are dragon fighting and dragon electric. Yes, that is confirmed. That's true. There's more than one object Pokemon this generation, which is also true. There's at least four waifu Pokemon and multiple Hasbando Pokemon. Some Pokemon that look either super, like, feminine and, you know, whatnot, and on another case, like, you know, ones that look super manly and whatnot as well, according to the leaker. There will be a new cross-generation evolution, that's his most likely Dunsparce related, and evolution for Dunsparce has been hinted as well, which I think these two are connected, and there will be a new type combos added, which yes, he said there will be multiple new type combos in this, so that we're talking about here, for example, Grass Fire, it's a type combo that doesn't exist yet, it hasn't been made into a, a Pokemon, but it might exist in this game, there'll be, so also, a new cool fish Pokemon, which... 
Yes, sir. A new fish Pokemon. We already know that. The gimmick is related to somehow to three types, which is true. The gimmick is a new concept of that when referring to Megas. Well, no, this is not true. Megas and the new gimmick may not be connected. There is no, no confirmation that those two are connected, okay? They may not be connected at all. They might be separate entities and separate things, so keep that in mind. On the other hand, though, Here's what, it, what he continues saying. So, the Mega rework reference might be a totally different gimmick from the main one. Number two, Smoliv isn't confirmed to be female. Could be a, a, a Hospando Pokemon. Yes, exactly. Who never said that LeChunk was ugly, which is interesting as well because there's some other posts like down here. For example, like he continues on, I think, further down uh, with some other posts. For example, saying, a regional form of a bull Pokemon, which is true. A regional form of a water ground Pokemon, that's true as well. That's something that's been hinted. Smallest evolution is the regional grass female Pokemon. That is not true. Like we just saw, that it's not guaranteed. Gogoat is back, uh, which is interesting because it's a Pokemon that hasn't essentially shown up since 2013 in X and Y, I'm pretty sure. The leaker mentions there's a tons of cool new Pokemon, which is true. A lot of the designs are apparently going to be really awesome compared to what we've had in recent times. So that, in my opinion, is fantastic. The regional bug Pokemon will have a Japanese theme. That is true as well. There, and so, if you guys don't know what he's referring to here, there has been posts, again, from the leaker, Ridlaku, who did say that there will be a Pokemon that will have a Japanese-looking theme. Uh, like in Sword and Shield, not any every previous starter will be in the game. This is true as well. So if you want to see, you know, Trico or Totodal, I'm sorry, but they may not be in Scarlet and Violet. Just keep that in mind. And as for the leaker, uh, what the uh, what the leaker knows, there'll be some Pokemon after Sword, uh, Scarlet and Violet that haven't appeared in any Switch game, which is interesting. So we'll have to see what that's going to be like. Lechong's final uh, evolution will be a female-looking but ugly, uh, something like Perugly possibly. That I don't think is true because the point that he, like, the, the what he's referring to here is a post from Ridlaku where he says, oh... I wish, you know, it was, like, white and it's a pig and it's got, like, you know, like, lipstick on it. Uh, what I think is happening there is more that he's hinting at, like, it's going to evolve into a, instead of it being, like, a, a black little pig, it's going to be, like, a white-colored pig instead of sorts. I think that's more what, it's, what like, we're referring to here. Not that it's going to be ugly per se, right? Like Perugly is. So, it says also, it's been hinted that legendaries have five of something forms. Yeah, we do know that they most likely have five different forms, different writable forms, most likely. The, ride, the legends are writable in some way. We already know this because the names even have ride in them and all that sort of stuff. So there's definitely be writable. Note, information marked with like uh, exclamation mark was uh, revealed via a riddle and hasn't been explicitly stated yet by the leaker. So uh, yeah, again, guys, keep that in mind. But back to the post here. So he just corrects some stuff. Ku never said the LeChunk was ugly. Ku said boxes, the box legendaries have five forms. We never said they were writable, though. We can assume, unless uh, somehow it could be related to the type and gimmick forms instead. You know, it could be that. Lastly, this is uh, this is sadly actually a really good point however this is just a starter info we know the pokemon company incorporated also definitely won't even even reveal the final evolutions ever and probably won't show uh, the mid stages until much later if at all so i don't know if it's even related and uh, this is from the car on here said if ku will answer it on the 30th perhaps there will be no more official reveal in june perhaps nothing related to pokemon even if there is a direct july first week to get a uh, trailer to three maybe so that is true i hadn't even thought about this but yes this is also an inclusion of a new cross gen pokemon evo would ins insinuate that there's more than one exactly so basically if dunsparce truly gets a legit cross gen evo as opposed to a regional evo I wonder how many and who else will receive one. And, well, people are asking for Jinx, as, you know, Jinx is a Pokemon that, oddly enough, hasn't really gotten a Mega, a new form, a new evolution. A, you know, I mean, we do have a pre-evolution for it, I think. But beyond that, it hasn't really got much attention in a while. So, could happen. You never know, guys. It could always happen. But that is just the first piece of information. We have loads more to go through. For example, there has been a post by Ridlaku where he says, Want to know the design motif? of the starter's final stages, which, yes, that means that he's going to give us the answer on the 30th of June. He's going to give us the answers on what the starter Pokemon might look like in design, but we only get to pick one. And also, after this, uh, I'll never tease the other two until release. So I want to keep your favorite uh, favorite a secret and vote for the others, or can't wait to know your true uh, love and vote it up to the moon. Up to you. And he offered the three starters. The one that's winning right now, I think, is... Uh, I could be wrong here. I think the one that won is Prihatito. I could be wrong, but I think it's Prihatito that won. I personally think Quoxley would have been more interesting or Fuecoco would have been more interesting to see rather than Sprihatito, but I think Sprihatito is the one that w that's winning. I could be wrong, though. I think that's the case. But nonetheless, um, what we're trying to say here, what's interesting about this post right here is that this confirms we're not going to see the starter Pokemon, their evolutions, until the games come out or until data mine leaks happen. If you don't know what data mining is, it's basically people going through the files of a leaked game or any game at all and finding, well, you know, files for different Pokemon, 
textures, names, stuff like that. And since Pokemon games tend to leak out into the public, like copies of the game get out early, super early, and people leak information and then data mine it, there's a high chance we won't see the starters until like maybe one or two weeks before the Scarlet and Violet games are supposed to release. So keep that in mind. It's a highly possible situation. So that's one of the big things we have to keep in mind here because... We, I mean, I don't really know who we're going to see revealed here. I think it's going to be either Sprigatito or Fricoco, but Quoxley is definitely not going to get info. The next up is this. So, Pokeclay says, unrelated to Nimona, but I realized that when we all pronounce Ray, so, uh, uh, like, you know, the new Pokemon, Koraidon, uh, you know, Miraidon, if you look at their names, uh, part of the legendary's names like Ride On, but also can be pronounced as Ray, like a solar Ray. So, it doesn't always have to be just about the riding feature. It could also be about Rays, which again connects to our previous theories that the brand new legendaries with the third legendary are connected to time so future past but also to the color spectrum and light sunlight sun rays as you may see right there so there's a clear connection between all those and pokies time does have a case saying in this case uh, of miraidon and koraidon the rai is part of an existing word if it had been used as a uh, as combing sound but pronunciation would remain loyal to uh, mirai and korai so i wouldn't uh, it would it's without doubt pronounced as rai both are clearly Japanese names. In Japanese, Rai can, cannot be pronounced as Rei. If it were Rei, it, can, it can't be. You know, that can't, it's not possible. So, who knows? Maybe there isn't a connection there, but we'll have to wait and see in the future what happens with that. Next is a big post right here from Soul Silver, who uh, breaks down this one of these riddles from Riddler Coup. And what is this? Well, he posted this image of uh, a bunch of olives, and there's five black olives, and, you know, he just says some goofy stuff. And he said, it is the waifu, uh, it is in the Waifu Mon League, but not the one I was about to tease in last month. So, what he's talking about here? Well, um, basically, he's saying that this is in, like, this is not a, perhaps, maybe, like, kind of is a waifu Pokemon, but not really at the same time. It's kind of different. And also, what you define as waifu isn't always that it's going to be super feminine or whatever. But here's what Soul Silver says. Right away, uh, all I could think is that the Evo will be a Greek or Roman inspired, as a lot of the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon will be too. Based off of the olive and laurel wreaths they used to wear, I thought it would be more like a comfy Pokemon, a wreath with a bunch of small limbs on it. But after, uh, after his follow-up tweet... And looking at Smolov's general design, the olive itself isn't the Pokemon, but what's under the olive is. I can see it becoming humanoid and having a five olive crown on its head. And the thing about this riddle is it's not meant to be hard. Ku was giving us a gift more than a riddle. He says waifu mon league. So I don't think it's most, uh, mostly feminine, but could actually be more masculine humanoid Pokemon, right? Which leads us to my next point because of the two colors of olives. Maybe there's a male and female variant. Maybe just the crowns have different colored olives on them, right? So, or maybe it's Al creamy like and gets five different color variations. There may even be connections to chickens, but I doubt it's Ku's Chinese, uh, like, uh, as Ku's Chinese insults haven't hinted at anything. And I doubted, um, doubted that, uh, but he double checked the translations with translators, and it's just an exact translation. If it's related to, well, I guess chickens, then I think Eduardo nailed it. And what he's talking about here, well, basically, Different people post this up here saying, I'm guessing smallest body is actually an egg that will hatch into a bird-like thing, hence normal type, and the female will have an olive branch around it, resembling a bird's nest with olives instead of eggs. The male might have black olives hanging back uh, back its neck like a, a waddle. And somebody's saying, oh, oh I'm sensing an uh, Athene-themed evolution. It's a uh, waifu-based Pokemon. An Athene small of evolution could be cool. And then, you know, somebody suggested, well, it could also have five variants. And then finally, um, he's, the last person says, green olives are not ripe yet. Black olives are fully ripe. So as small olive evolves, it gets darker and more olives, you know, add, get added to it. Perhaps attaining a tree-like form, which is what I think is going to happen personally. So, also, you should add this. So, last Evo, it's uh, is a ripe uh, olive, right? So, basically, it's like how olives start off as green and get black as they go, you know, as they kind of age, so to say. And uh, Eduardo also did say, as some have pointed out, Gallo is one of the biggest markers of olive oil in the world and Portuguese, so why not? There might be some kind of relationship. So, yeah, this is basically a brand that makes olives that is Portuguese. And guess what? They have the olive olive thingy. You can see, like, the olive, same thing, going on, and the black olives on there. So, could it be that maybe you get a chicken sign? Uh, we'll have to wait and see if that's going to be the case. And somebody here had to say something else. No, it's just a direct translation from the English written writing on the picture picture oh so it's the same as central has five no 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 right yeah oh fair thanks and something people haven't realized he says well that uh you know word right there at the bottom you guys can see it central has five ha 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 the problem is that is something that as far as i know only males have okay only only individuals uh with male persuasion usually have that right if you if you you know usually have that 
as a guy, right? It's not something females have, which makes me think that this may be more like a thingy where the Pokemon itself might actually have, you know, the mainly gender differences. I think that's going to be it. Like, it's going to be a Pokemon with multiple different, like, you know, different, different looking design depending on the gender it has. So... Here's a great post uh, by Poncast who says, is a solid take. We have uh, been speculating that Skull and Violet would have a Greek, specifically Hercules inspiration type Pokemon. If you guys want to dig deeper, please do, because there does seem to be a connection. Obviously, there'll be a Greco-Roman vibes to the whole game, which is true. Now, here's what uh, Poncast says, which, by the way, check out Poncast, awesome lad over there. Uh, says, here, this gives me a Caesar vibe with the wreath. He was a general, and his name would uh, become more of a title for the rulers of Rome, right? Wreaths were also used for athletes in the Olympics, right? Following the train of thought, an Olympian hero, Hercules, also used a weapon made of an olive tree. So perhaps we are wrong in assuming smaller would be grass fire, but instead grass fighting and maybe more masculine looking and if it's going to turn into a humanoid design. Well, Spain does have a Her Hercules pillars in the coat of arms, so it's a big possibility, which is cool. We already talked about this in the previous post, but I think it's worthwhile to bring it up again. And uh, dude, an Herculean-based Pokemon, I think honestly would be sick and it would make a lot of sense and it fits with all of it. And again, we'll have to wait and see what actually happens with this. But we continue on to the next subject. We'll be talking about this. Let's move on to the next thing, which is from Eclipse. Now, if you guys do not know who this person is, this is also kind of a leaker slash Riddler. Um, Eclipse is a little bit more, like, 50-50. Sometimes he has really good, correct info, but sometimes he can be a little bit, bit mm, you know. But he's been really correct recently. He gave us the correct time for the next, you know, trailer, which happened on, uh, you know, in June now. He gave us the right, correct time for that. And he's given us some information that does match with all the other stuff. But he's now saying, I heard you like dragons. And then in another post, he specifically said... Wow, so many, right? The people like so many of them. And guess what? Soul Silver has been noticing that he's been posting a few interesting things about this because he said so many people were asking him new or t or new ones or total new ones. He says just new ones. So brand new dragon Pokemon gonna be getting a bunch of brand new dragon ones. Somebody else says, hmm, are you saying that the Titan region, aka Scarlet and Violet region, will have more new dragons than past games? And he says, even without counting forms, like Origin, Megas, or similar, yep. So he's confirming there'll be a ton of brand new dragon Pokemon. So he says, literally, not including if you think of, like, you know, Origin forms, just general forms of Pokemon, Megas, or anything similar to that. Which, again, means that he also is saying that something similar to Megas is going to be returning. But... That means we're going to be getting a bunch of brand new dragon Pokemon, which I think is bloody fantastic, man. It is awesome. And there is a further information here from Soul Silver. says, the most important thing here are Os uh, Osmio's final reply, but also the TT hint and joke. I think this is directly connects uh, to Ku's new uh, RF, which I believe means regional feature. I believe there'll be both one gyms, possibly in towers, and alpha boss trials like nobles and totems. So basically... What it's being suggested here is that in Skull and Violet, you're going to have normal gym battles, but also totem Pokemon sort of, like like alpha Pokemon as well, like Pokemon that are just difficult and boss Pokemon, so to say, out in the open world. But there will also be gyms for you to get gym badges to increase the level of Pokemon in the world so you can catch higher level Pokemon as well. I think that's what we're kind of looking at here, the kind of a combo of the two. And Eclipse said, TT in my name stands for Tower tower trials or towers trials but basically which is him hinting at gym challenges being in here and somebody did say here like for example that somebody literally asked him like oh so all the new gyms and challenges are on the those towers we saw in the trailer he says technically no is the answer to this question and that's all so basically he's saying that no there will be gyms but also in those towers possibly we could be getting something you know like possibly gyms in those towers but there might also be you know, alpha bosses in other areas, or like, you know, just alpha Pokemon, a boss Pokemon, more or less, is what I'm trying to say, in other places, so I think that would be pretty sick, lads, I think that would be pretty awesome, and this one's pretty interesting, this is from uh, Blaze and Cinder, says, this is actually very interesting, I don't know uh, how a rivet like that would actually apply, though, maybe Magnemite, or maybe it's just a funny coincidence, but what is this referring to? Well, basically, um, this is an image of a somebody's regional form, regional version of a Diglett, and, uh, well, you guys can see what it looks like, right? But he did, Riddler Koo, the leaker, took a picture of this and said, oh, what does RF mean with his riddles? Like, RF, we thought it was regional form, but it's something else, right? It means something else, and some people realize it could mean riveting, because a rivet is this is kind of in the same design as what we see right here. So is it possible that something to do with, like, gears, maybe, like, gears in a in a motorbike, because we are going to be, you know, having, like, literally uh, a racing theme in these games. Maybe that's what it all connect, connects to, like, racing forms. Maybe even that's the possible, like, you know, 
thing he's like re referring to in this case, which is interesting. But we move on to the next post, which is right here. So Blazing Zero says, finally, a 4chan rumor that has an effort. And this looks like a B, right? And it looks to be in Scarlet and Violet. And here it is on the right direction if you look at it. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is fake, okay? This thing doesn't match the design of the recent Pokemon. It doesn't match the, the, like, it's just too, it looks too different, man. It looks different. Also, this background image, I'm pretty sure is one we've seen before. I'm pretty sure I've seen this background in one of the trailer parts at some point. So I'm going to tell you right now, this one is 100,000% fake. Okay, this is fake. No questions about it. Fake, 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 fake. Move on to the next thing, guys. So this is a post from Podcast, and he has a, a lot to say. So he has, like, you know, his final evolution predictions and what they're going to be like, uh, you know, in this massive thread here, which he made. I think he made, like, a big, big thread about this kind of stuff. But he has a big thread here that I think is worth to take a look at. So final evil predictions, he says, of course, uh, Grass Dark. Of course, we already know that's going to be, like, you know, one of the typings most likely from Sprigatito. But the more interesting point he has to make here is... Uh, I made this prediction on the March 2nd, and Ku has basically confirmed that that much. So yes, Grass Dark, uh, and then I think, uh, what is the other one? Uh, Fire Ghost, and the final one is Water Fighting. So those are the ones we do know. And he says, I have a firm belief that we have a strong Mayan connection for this generation, but it only now hit me how much the ghost typing would also fit when you take into account historical events. He says, I believe that with Coco's evolution will look like something from a, a Mayan-influenced design. And, of course, there is the Spanish conquest of the Mayas, right? And he says here, and now, even more proof that Fuecoco will have a major Mayan influence. Here you see the crocodile effigy of the Mayans, right? It was a display at the San Diego Museum of Natural, Hi Natural, Natural History. Coincidence? I think not. If you look at this, it's the Mayan crocodile effigy. Very similar design, let's be honest. Uh, very similar design. You got the kind of horn-looking similar thing. You got the, the, the markings as well. You've got the, the teeth looking just the same. So... Yeah, Chief, I don't know, man. A Mayan connection would make a lot of sense. He has a, a few other posts where he goes a bit deeper into this, uh, like where he posted like this massive thread about, you know, how the design even of the legendaries look look a bit like the Mayan warrior designs that you guys can see right here. It kind of do look very similar. And even the icon from the Japanese logo that's definitely related to the game's big gimmick that's similar to Mega's, G-Max, whatever. Even this matches up with this like, like Mayan wheel calendar thingy. So... It all just matches up perfectly, and I don't see why the Mayan culture wouldn't be able to be fitted into here somehow, because they do do that quite often. Again, like I said, in Kalos, they've, like I've said this in the past, but in Kalos, the legendaries are not based on, you know, well, what Kalos is based on, which is France. They're not based on that. The legendaries are based on northern, you know, Nordic, like Norse mythology, you know, Viking mythology and stuff like that, because they're based on, like, the, the animals in Yggdrasil, like, you know, atop Yggdrasil and bottom of Yggdrasil, you know, like um, the snake, I think, the, the deer and uh, the hawk or whatever at the top. So that's what they are based on. So at the end of the day, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Moving on to the next thing. Yes, we have confirmation now from, from Riddler Koo that this image right here, this leak concept art of uh, Fue Coco is fake. So yes, Fue Coco is not going to look like that. Just so you guys know, it is confirmed fake by Riddler Koo because he's a leaker. Can pretty much take his word for it that that's not going to be what it's going to look like. He called it a fan art. So there you go, Lation Gents. And then we have a bunch of other stuff. For example, as I mentioned again, there's a connection to Maya here. And this person, Delta, uh, Delta said, a human and Mayan uh, pyramid equals Takataka. Miel uh, Ot uh, Otixin is uh, Blacephalon, if you look at, like, the Ultra Beast, right? Uh, and he, there, he's referring to this, like, which is an event that takes place. Uh, and if you look at, like, uh, this, oh, this is more like, this is related more to, uh, you know, uh, our guy over here. But Takataka, yeah, it kind of does look a bit like, you know, either, like, the, the temples themselves... Or also a bit like this event where they just climb on top of each other, which is looks pretty pretty uh, pretty epic. I'm gonna lie. Uh, we'll have, probably have a Pokemon based off of the human castle folklore from Catalonia, which is northeast of Spain. I could guess it, it being some type of organized troop Pokemon such as Phalanx or Wishy Washy. Uh, my bet is there, so it's a possibility that might happen, ladies and gents. And uh, I think that pretty much is it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all for out. Any thoughts and opinions you can leave in the comment section. And I will see you all next time. Peace out and bye bye, ladies and gentlemen.